how to go from this to this. Let's dive in. Hi there, my name is Zirai, and today I'll show you how you can access your Synology through your own URL securely without any ongoing maintenance and fees. First things first, just as when you're cooking, watch the video first to make sure you understand all the moving pieces and know what the steps are before you begin. When I got my first Synology back in 2012, I've struggled with how to make it work securely and reliably with my own domain from outside and inside of my network. Let's Encrypt didn't exist until 2014 and Synology only supported own certificates and paid DDNS services. Number one, you'll need your own domain. I recommend your name as that's something unlikely to change and you most likely want to reserve for yourself anyway. But at the end of the day, you can use whatever name you want or you already have. You can buy a new domain from a number of domain registrars, but I recommend Australian-based Panther as they have excellent support and extensive knowledge base for a great price. For this demo, I'll be using domain windows-securityexpert.com and my Synology will be pointed to synology.com windows-securityexpert.com Forward ports 80, 5000 and 5001. I'll explain later why we need port 80 and why it's okay. Okay, it's done. Now let's explain what we are going to do and why. So inside your network, your Synology has a private address. Let's say 192.168.1.103. If you want to access it, you just enter the IP address into your Edge or Firefox and you're good to go. This will, however, not validate your SSL certificate and won't work with certain services and browsers. If, however, you want to access it from outside, the address will not work. Here's where it gets a bit complicated, so I've created a, a bit of a table to help. SSL can only be validated when using fully qualified domain name or your URL. You can access your Synology directly through private IP at home. This private IP doesn't work from outside. You can access it from outside using your public IP address and port forwarding. This will again not validate your SSL certificate. Your internet public IP address keeps changing unless you pay for static IP which means you need to manually update your DNS record every time it changes. We want both. We want accessing your Synology securely from inside and outside your network using our own domain to validate the certificate. And if you have any services on your mobile device, like iPad or iPhone or Android, whatever, inside or outside your house, you remain or retain access to it. Let's make your NAS available from within your network using your domain name. Install DNS app on your Synology. Add your domain as a master zone. Don't worry about any of the warnings. It will only be valid within your home. Point your Synology by creating a record within the zone so it resolves correctly. Use your router DHCP settings to make your Synology as primary DNS, router as a secondary. Restart your PC.
Now you can access your Synology using your URL. Well done. But let's not stop here. Now let's configure updating DNS records automatically. To do that, add your domain to the Synology as default. Register with Cloudflare and add your own domain. Point name service to it so Cloudflare can manage your DNS records and update them as needed. Create a dummy A record in Cloudflare. Create account with DNS Omatic. Add your domain and authenticate it with Cloudflare. Add DNS Omatic as DDNS provider in your Synology. Authenticate and update and make sure it's all green. Now Synology sent an update to DNS Omatic and DNS Omatic updated Cloudflare which now should have your correct IP address if everything has worked correctly. Last but not least, enable SSL certificate with Let's Encrypt. Go to Control Panel, Security, Certificate, and click add. Choose new and make a default with your domain. This is where you need your port 80 open as Let's Encrypt checks where your browser is responding. You can also disable it after you do the initial setup, but Let's Encrypt checks your port 80 every 90 days or so and renews your certificate every three months. So you can, you will have to re-enable it and renew the certificate manual if you want to decide to do it this way. However, if you want to leave this on automatic and you want to keep your port 80 open, I will publish a video soon about how to secure your Synology with DSM-7. So subscribe and stay tuned. Now that you are done, you can access your Synology internally or externally from any device, knowing that your traffic is fully encrypted and validated. Hopefully you were able to follow my steps and now you have your SSL working on your Synology. Great job. If you have any questions, please ask them below. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye.